For roughly 10 years, the Pottawatomie County Animal Shelter has helped lost or abandoned pets find a home. But soon, this shelter will close. It's, it's very, very sad. When I left the shelter last night, um, I was sad. Four out of five county board members say it's a good thing, voting Tuesday morning to merge the county shelter with Midlands Humane Society and Council Bluffs. We have a service that can be provided by another community group, and we can still fit the, fit the bill. Board Chairman Justin Schultz says it'll save taxpayers between $33,000 and $40,000 each year without sacrificing care to the animals. They offer really quality things down there. Their facility is very clean. The people are very professional there. But the people that volunteer for the Pottawatomie County Shelter are worried Midlands won't have the space, attending Tuesday's hearing to try and sway the board to keep their shelter alive. We are concerned about their financial situation. We are concerned about them euthanizing animals when they reach capacity, which they are a lot of the time. Planning Director Matt Wyant says both low-kill shelters have similar rates. And we're still not happy about it, but we'll continue to do our jobs until the day they shut the doors. In Pottawatomie County, <laughs> Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.